What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I have an unboxing for you guys. Um, it's nothing major, but it's still something that's brand new that just came out. And if any of you know me, you know I'm addicted to this product. So when I saw there was something new, I got an email. I just said, click, 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 let's buy and try. Have any idea what it could be? Huh, stay tuned. <laughs> Well, if this is your first time tuning in, welcome. My name is Brittany and I'm with Laidback Lux. I bring you videos weekly on Wednesdays on lifestyle, on luxury, on life's little luxuries. So if that's something you're into, definitely don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and join our Laidback crew. If you're already part of the crew, thank you and welcome to another video. I hope you guys are staying well, safe and warm. Um, for me, it's still cold. <laughs> it's still really cold, but it's okay. I'm getting there. Summer's around the corner. So today I wanted to bring to you a quick unboxing. I bought something from the Louis Vuitton website and I just had to try it out. It said, I don't know. You'll see. So if you haven't seen an unboxing before, the box comes like this when you open, or actually it comes like this, but you don't need to see all my info. But when you open it up, it has a Louis Vuitton, and you can reuse this box if you need to return. Oh, okay. Hello. So um, this is what it looks like right now. It's all kind of in there willy-nilly. I mean, it's not the best, it's not the worst, but it's definitely not the best. At least I got a box, right? No complaints. So I got one of the older ribbons, the thinner ribbons. No biggie, I don't care, because I got a lot of these guys, so it's not a big deal. I decided to go ahead and purchase Louis Vuitton's newest fragrance. So they had a fragrance, it came, it's called um, Etoile Filante, Filante, I don't know, Etoile Filante. And I believe it was like some sort of flower, maybe jasmine, or like, I don't know. It was something like that. I wanna say jasmine, I'm trying to see if it's on here, but it's not. Now I'm hoping and praying that my sample is in here so I can try the right one. And it's not! <laughs> Gosh darn it, this is the second freaking time Louis Vuitton has done this to me. But you know what? It's okay. I am just going to pull the trigger. I'm really disappointed because they're supposed to send you samples of the perfume you bought, and they're not doing that anymore. And it's so freaking frustrating. However, for the most part, the female fragrances I don't have an issue with, so I'm gonna trust it and open it up. And if I hate it, maybe I'll sell it. <laughs> we'll see. This is the packaging. If you've never seen, it comes in a box like so. Then you would open it up and you get the tube. This one has the gold. Some of them have black. And then you have the fragrance itself that comes inside. Um, I'm really excited to see what this is about. This bottle is so cold. It's just so cold. It's all so cold. You can see how it's like frost. Can you see that? It's a, fr it's frosted. I'm not kidding when I say it's freezing outside. All right, guys, wish me luck. We're going to smell this together. Ooh. Okay. First thoughts. It smells like hairspray. It's floral, it's clean, it's fresh, but there's like a little hint of hairspray. I think this will be a great spring, oh, okay. The flower's picking up and it's really cold. So as we wear that, it should kind of warm up and give a true scent. Cause right now I'm just getting all top note. And you know what, since I got time and I'm waiting, let's look up some of those ingredients. Now, okay, so while we're doing that, some things I like about the fragrances and the reason I never hesitate is because the price in the US is pretty similar to the price that you would pay in Europe uh, with the Euro conversion, depending, give or take a couple dollars. But I don't feel like I'm being ripped off when I buy a fragrance. This is a very floral um, fragrance, but it's not super overwhelming like the rose or anything like that. It's light. If you like a lighter floral scent, this is going to be a great one for you. That's the floral. So it's magnolias and osmanthus. I've never heard of osmanthus before. So 
Let's see what Osmanthus is in the real world. Oh, that's what it's actually called. <laughs> it almost looks like a little jasmine. That's what I thought I was looking at when I... Yeah, it's those little flowers that look like little jasmines almost. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. It is a nice, clean smell. This is a great fragrance if... um. I'll hold the bottle up. This is a great fragrance if you don't want an overwhelming scent, but you like florals, but you don't want to be like a grandma floral. It's like, again, it's clean. There's a little hint of sweet, just a light hint. It's predominantly light, clean, airy, and floral. That's how I would describe it. But the floral, I don't want you to hear floral and get that negative tone. I want, it's just a light, it's very feminine, really dainty, just very, and as it warms up, it's getting just cleaner and sweeter, but not like sugary sweet. Like just a sweet bouquet of flowers. Let's see what else is in here. I uh, I like magnolias. We used to have a magnolia tree when I was a little kid. They would just blossom and bloom. Granted, they would always drop leaves and it was like my duty to clean them up. But we would also, my dad and I would also go and cut some down and we would always place them in this vase and like wherever you would place the magnolias, it would smell just beautifully. Um, and that's kind of what I'm getting from it. Oh, there is jasmine in here. So there's jasmine, osmanthus, <laughs> osmanthus, osmanthus, magnolia, and jasmine. So the jasmine and the osmanthus are absolutes and the magnolia is essence. The magnolia and osmanthus are from Ch China and jasmine comes from grass. So it's not, I'm not upset with it. It took a minute at first. At first I was really disappointed, but the more I smell it, the more I actually wind up liking it because I don't have anything in my wardrobe like this. My florals are either like a deep rose or a violet. So they're very heavy. They're very, again, seductive and sophisticated and deep, um, but they're not for everyone. And I have a lot of like vanillas um, and then like, some odd kind of like herbal scents. This is like a true, oh yeah, the more I wear it, the more I like it. It's, it's a beautiful scent. I just, it's just, I don't know. It's very light again. It's very feminine. It's very dainty. It's beautiful. It's not overpowering. Yeah, I like it. I, I do like it. At first I was a little hesitant because when I first sprayed it, it was just too bold. And at first I was like, maybe spring and summer. Yeah, it's a great spring uh, fragrance, a great summer. Cause it doesn't, it's not super heavy. It's just light and I don't know. And sophisticated. I'm trying to think if there's something that rem it reminds me of that I could compare it to, but, um, no, I can't think of it again. Initially first spray hairspray suave hairspray. And then again, after it kind of settles on the skin and it warms up and it gets those just mm, vibing. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I feel like there's has to be a hint of citrus, but they're not, they're not listing it in here. I will link, I will link the page in my description box below. Oh God. Sorry. I filmed like four videos today. I look like a hot mess. This is the last one. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, I will link that, but just to kind of give you an idea of what Louis Vuitton says is they say it, this is how they describe it. And let's see if I kind of agree. Okay. I'm smelling. It is really, really nice. It's just so delicate, but so bold. It just smells good. Yeah, for a for a blind purchase, again, especially since my last Louis Vuitton purchase, 
didn't work out like I thought <laughs> it would. I was a little hesitant, especially since I didn't get the samples I actually asked for. They sent me some other ones that I already have, but meh, whatevs. Um, I'm really, I'm really, really like this. And I would say if you, if you tend not to like overly sweet items, like if you're not like a vanilla person, uh, but you tend to like florals, but maybe you want a light floral that you can wear in all environments that won't offend others around you. This would be one. Um, it has like, again, a hint of like sweetness, but when they said fruity, I could, it's a fruity sweet. It's not like a candy sweet or a vanilla sweet. It is definitely a fruity sweet and it's just beautiful. It's not a heavy scent, but I feel like it will last quite a while on the skin. I'm in love. I'm in love. That's all I can say. If you are a perfume junkie and you have the opportunity, stop by Louis Vuitton, try it out on your skin, smell it. Let me know what you guys think. Or if you already have it, what do you guys think? What would you compare it to? I'm really interested to hear what it's similar to because I just can't, I can't explain it, but I love it. It's such a great scent. Um, and yeah, that's all I can say. I will definitely be wearing this one a lot at work again because it's not too in your face it's not too bold it's still classy it's still sophisticated but it's also light feminine airy and whimsical and it's just it's beautiful so i give this a 4.5 out of 5. i love it try it out let me know what you guys think um and again thanks for tuning in this was a short sweet quick video i didn't want to hold you guys up it was just a quick unboxing this is a new fragrance so i'm sure there are people out there who are interested um and if you aren't really familiar with what kind of scents i like and if you don't know if you'd be on the same wavelength i did make a perfume video that i will link um below that you can kind of get an idea of what is already in my scent wardrobe to see if you might like this now again nothing in my wardrobe is like this and i think that's why i like it um because again those florals i do have are really deep rose and violets where this is like a very light hint of jasmine again those magnolias and the asamanthu i don't know <laughs> uh, are all in there but then i get a little hint a little hint of sweet fruitiness so yeah that's it that's all i gotta say let me know what you guys think in the comments don't forget to like subscribe um and yeah have a great safe week all right guys that's it for me stay safe and ciao